Hello and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'll be going back to these uh, JXD509 batteries that I got from Gearbest. And uh, usually when you get these batteries from China, you should be prepared to be disappointed. But in this case, the exact opposite is uh, happening. These batteries, um, although they were very inexpensive, these are really great. Um, I've charged them and I took them out and uh, I flew them until the drone wouldn't fly anymore and uh, after that I recharged them again to see how much charge was actually removed from the drone and uh, with two of these batteries I came out at for the first battery, 500, uh, 756 milliamp hours and 781 milliamp hours. For a battery like this, that is still completely new, uh, these values are excellent. The best thing about these is the drone will actually not empty the battery completely. It will actually stop draining the battery at 3.4 volts. Uh, so when you remove the battery from the drone and put it into the charger right away, um, it will still have 3.4 volts, which means that the battery is probably going to last quite a while. And um, after the complete charging, um, it will be at 4.2 volts when it's full. Um, this actually means that the batteries appear to have um, a charge in excess of the 800 milliamps hour uh, that is printed on them. Um, for reference, the, uh, the classification says this battery is a DS752555 with 800 milliamp hours. Um, I can really recommend these. Um, I've seen that they're on a lot of pictures that Gearbest is showing and apparently the same cells are available through other dealers too. So that was a very very nice surprise. On the other hand, uh, the batteries that I bought for the SEMA X8C, uh, they tell another story. These batteries are not great, but just good enough. Um, if you're going to put a camera, a, a different camera than the original, uh, on the bottom of your SEMA X8C, then these batteries are not for you. Uh, because their internal uh, resistance is just a bit too high. Um, I've discharged and charged them, and uh, I never got any of them to output more than 1600 milliamp hours, uh, which rated for a battery at 2000 milliamp hours is rather poor performance. On the other hand, um, I went ahead and I actually uh, tested each cell in one of these batteries and it turns out that the cells themselves aren't bad at all. Um, they're just uh, not properly matched. So um, these are okay if you're just going to go out and fly your drone without any extra weight on it. Um, you should take a timer with you and uh, make sure that you <laughs> stay close uh, when you get to about five to six minutes um, because in my case these didn't last longer than six and a half minutes. That being said, these might still improve. I mean, these are lipo cells, and uh, lipo cells do have a certain life over their lifespan, um, which means um, that after a number of charges, they may actually improve because uh, the distribution of the conductant uh, between the cells uh, becomes better, and uh, sometimes uh, the surface of the anode and cathode is uh, covered with a protective material that needs to be worn down first 
but um, that will maybe give you 10 to 15 percent more but but no more than that um, so that being said uh, these batteries for the um, for the JXD JD509 are great these for the SEMA uh, X8C are not great but good enough thanks for watching and bye bye